Okay, it's Tuesday, May 11th. Um, I just went back on keto yesterday. I kept my carbs under 20. 147.8. I said yesterday I was 150.2. Just one day of eating low carb, um, you feel like so less puffy. 147.8. After just one day of not eating all my chips and crap. Yay! 147.8. I'm going to make some breakfast. It's 9.25. Anyways, I haven't eaten since. I had a really late, slack, really late snack last night. Um... I need to clean out my fridge. Oh, I swear I'm always cleaning out something. I got these roasted potatoes to have Saturday and I never ate them and now I'm back on keto. So what do you do? What do you do? They're really good though. I've had them before. They're the roasted sea salt and black pepper potatoes. This Main Street Bistro, they have really good like mac and cheese. I think it's better than the Bob Evans brand. Okay. I'm going to have a breakfast wrap, breakfast burrito, whatever you want to call it. I haven't had one in so long. These things are huge. I'm trying to get my supplies. So I've got the card counter. These are my favorite. I like these better than the, what's the other brand? I forget what the other brand is. My pan's getting hot. Okay, so I need eggs. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I need to clean this out because there's just eggs, bacon, pepper back, pepper, pepper back, pepper jack. What else? I was gonna have some fruit. I'm gonna have a couple berries. What do I what do I put in there? Just eggs, bacon, and cheese. Okay, I got it. I went to Sam's over the weekend, so I have big, huge cases of stuff, like, everywhere. Oh, I talked about this in a recent video. So I bought the little ones at Walmart, but I found this big, huge pack of them at Sam's for 20 bucks, like 19-something. They're the clear with the gray snap down sides. So I need to get those out of the box and washed. All right, I've got to get my eggs in the pan. <gasps> no, Tahin, get back up there. So I went back on keto yesterday. Um, I already feel great today. <laughs> what, what do you need, people? Okay, so I'll make a couple eggs for me and I'll make one for Jax. It's 9.30, I'm leaving an hour to get Allie from school, so let's get I'm so excited about my breakfast sandwich. Okay, so excited I'm dropping my eggs. Anyway, like yesterday I weighed in at 150.2. Today I'm 147.8. Like that's in the beginning, like you drop so much bloat. Hold on, I'm getting egg everywhere. Because you're just like so puffy and bloated. Okay. Anyways, after just one day of eating low carb, I feel great. So I'll have this cheese out for mine. Got my wrap. Cheese for my eggs. I need to make up some bacon. Oh, I need to turn this down. So I have three eggs in here. One for Jax, two for me. Just need to cook up a bit. Gotta get my bacon in. Oh, let's get some bacon going. That stupid microwave. Like, Adrian Bernard's up, I don't know, a long time ago. I got a new one. My sister has the same one. I've asked her, I'm like, do you have a hot spot? Like anything that sits in the middle of this microwave and it's on like a rotating tray. Anything that sits in the middle, 
but it's towards the middle burns. It doesn't matter what it is. Potatoes, reheating things. Like, I don't understand. I've not had it in so long. I haven't had it since like the last time I was on keto. It's I think I was still doing keto in February. I think that's when I kinda got off track. It's now May, May eleventh. I needed to message the company. It's Hamilton Beach. Yeah, everything that was in the middle gets burned. And like on the bacon, like it's across the whole plate, so something's obviously in the middle. If it's something small, I put it to the side of the plate, but. All right, Jax, I'll put his bacon in for like 25 seconds. This is gonna freaking burn. Don't wanna burn my eggs. Oh my god, just bacon while they're good. Okay, spread it out. Try and measure it out so I know he's getting one and I'm getting two. Mm, that looks about right, I guess. Pepper jack for mine. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering. I have these little sausage links I bought a while back when I was on keto. I need to make those. See, look. Whatever's in that. See how they're burnt? Because it's in the middle. It's so dumb. Alright. Jaxie has some bacon. I think it has little eggs. He already had muffins this morning. Okay. Then he had a bowl of fruit. I'll let these cool off for a minute. All right. Oh, let me heat up my wrap. But anyway, my sister has the same microwave and I asked her for it and she said no. So at first I didn't really notice it, and then I'm like, what the heck is going on? And then I realized what was going on. I kind of thought maybe it would go away since it was just new, but no. All right, let me heat up my tortilla. Oh, I should try the queso sauce. That. Oh, it's um, all about Kim, all things Kim. these was open when I got it. Sorry, you can't see a thing that I'm talking about. I'm trying to get this. Yeah, when I got it, like I got home and the lid was loose. Refrigerate after opening and the seal was open when I got it, so. Sorry. Who knows how long it was open on the shelf. I looked forever for that and bought two because I could never find it. Okay, eggs off. We can try this. Krishita's low carb. Well, she just posted a video, she's pregnant. Um, yeah, it's just the creamy queso. I've never tried it, so let's just. Because I don't want it to be super spicy and put too much on. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, that's good. Wow, that's really good. All right, let me go give him his real quick. Okay. So I need my heated up tortilla. I put my bacon. My belly's gonna be going down. Finally, getting back on track. All right. My bacon in there. Mm -hmm. I guess I put the cheese in my eggs and um fresh on top of that, but. Since I have the queso, let's put some of that on. How good does that look? Bacon, egg, pepper jack, and creamy queso. <laughs> right. Yummy. It's like when I eat crappy, I eat crappy. Right, Cheeto? I eat so good. Mm. Like, you don't ever see me eating fruit. Unless I'm on this diet. You rarely see me eat eggs unless I'm on this diet. All right, I'm gonna have a strawberry. That's really good. I'm gonna have two strawberries. These are so small. One, two, three, four, five. Look how little they are. Okay, let me show you my breakfast. All right, here it is. My little breakfast burrito. Two strawberries, five raspberries. I need to put it in carb manager. This is, this is amazing. <laughs> Okay, so for lunch, Alex wanted waffles, so she's in there eating waffles, and oh my gosh, the smell. The smell of her waffles. I think my mouth is watering, so I'm going to make a chaffle. A little spray. Mix up my one egg. One egg. And some mozzarella cheese. I just eyeball it. I feel like the more cheese, the crispier it'll get, so. That's all for that. It's so funny, I made one of these for my stepdad. And like the next day he was out looking for a truffle or a mini waffle maker. Then my dad, my stepdad's been doing keto for a long time. Then my dad, he's diabetic. 
and he was back in town when he went to the doctor and like his levels were really high so I made one of these for him he said get out of here he's like he was watching me make it so I do the egg and cheese but I also just for added flavor I like to put cinnamon in mine you could put like a dash of vanilla because like when I make french toast I put vanilla and cinnamon so let me get the cinnamon just put some cinnamon in there I love cinnamon give it a stir Yeah, my dad was watching me make and he's like, oh my god, that combination did not look good. So there's that. So he was kind of skeptical. But then he tried it. And he was blown away. It's like it sounds gross. But once you try it, it's like, wow, how did that do that? How has nobody came up with this before? Okay, so I put half of it in, close it up. I like mine to be like as crispy as I can get it. Yum! sugar-free syrup. I have a Lakanto, but this one's already open. It's just super runny. <laughs> Let that cool off. Get some butter on this one. No, honey, do you want some strawberries or something? Okay, sorry, I had to get Allie set up. She just ate three waffles and she wanted more. So I had to get her something else. All right, here they are. Switch hands. Hmm, I don't know where the microphone is on here. Maybe on top? I don't know. I just want to take a bite. Like I said, her waffles smelled so good. So I just made my own. Mm-hmm. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. It remind me of like the texture of French toast. If you've never tried them. Because they're kind of crispy on the outside. Oh my god. The inside's soft and chewy. I need to wolf these down so I can change them and get them to bed. It's 12.10. So good. So, so good. Mm. I need to put these in card manager too. Yum. Okay, it's 3.48. I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat a piece of cheese. Um, yeah, the kids want to go outside, so I'm going to eat this piece of cheese real quick. 
<laughs> okay, I've had quite a few questions about how I make my chicken. I just put my chicken in the pan. This is probably gonna be annoying. I broke holes in all of it. Then like this is my favorite barbecue sauce, the open pit. Um, which I don't dip the chicken in it when it's done. I just coat the chicken in it. So there's not like, it's like you're eating a ton of barbecue sauce. And it kinda, um, yeah, so it's like I'm putting like two tablespoons on my plate and eating that with dipping my chicken in it. I do this and coat my chicken. And then I go through and flip each piece. That's what I was doing when I ruined my shirt last week. Today is Tuesday. It's Taco Tuesday. But I was just making the... Yeah, my oven's ready. I was just browning the hamburger for the tacos. And again, it's like making me literally sick to my stomach. So, I don't know. I don't understand why all of a sudden I can't handle ground beef. <laughs> Makes no sense to me. You guys know I make tacos and taco salad all the time. I also have to have mine with chicken, with some barbecue chicken in it when it's all done. So I poke this side. And then I pour the rest of the bottle. These bottles of open pit, like this barbecue sauce is good because it like has a little kick to it. Um, not too much. I mean, my kids eat it. The little ones eat it. But it's like 99 cents, I think. So I use one bottle for the whole batch. I'll show you when it's done. Like, most of the sauce gets thrown away. Because it's just... I just take the chicken out. I just let it get coated. For some flavor. And that's it. That's all I do. Then my oven is preheated. I've got clean dishes right here. Taco meats, like Donnie to cut up their tomatoes and stuff. Put it in a preheated 375 oven. Oh my gosh, please don't let me drop this. That would be how my day is going. I do it for 30 minutes and then I take it out and I flip the chicken over and I put it back in for 25. I kind of overcook it, but that's just how I like my chicken. <laughs> Better overdone than under. Let's see, 30 minutes. All right, now I gotta get their taco salads going. Yeah, I can't do it, guys. Okay, it's 549. I'm making up the kids' taco salad, but I'm going to snack on some shrimp since I'm not eating tacos. I'm having barbecue chicken, which is going to be a while. So I've got this cocktail sauce. It says that there's 13 carbs in one serving, and one serving is a quarter of a cup. It's like I would never eat a quarter of a cup. So I just got out a quarter of a cup measure. I'm going to try and put it like at an angle so I can just do like half of a quarter of a cup, like an eighth of a cup. I don't even think I would eat an eighth of a cup. Come on. Like that's a lot. So it's like not even half, cause it's not even to the top. So that's how much cocktail sauce I'm gonna dish out for myself. So what is that, six and a half carbs? If I eat all of that, we'll see. Okay, so I had 10 shrimp. Yeah, 10 shrimp, and I didn't even eat all the cocktail sauce. On the nutrition thing, it said that a quarter of this, which would be 10 shrimp, and a quarter of the sauce was, um, what, like seven carbs? But this sauce that I use says that a quarter of a cup of this is 13. So I use an eighth of a cup, so maybe an eighth of a cup is What's, what you would get if you use a serving of that and then the shrimp's like half a carb. I don't know. So I need to look up what the carb content is on shrimp. I had 10 of them. Okay, the chicken was in for 30 minutes. So now I just flip each piece and try not to splatter. Gosh, it's so good. This is like the best sauce. I'm just not really a Sweet Baby Ray's fan, but I did in my keto box I unboxed today. I got a no sugar added Sweet
sweet baby rays like two packets of that barbecue sauce to try yeah and now I just put it back in for 25 Okay, the chicken just came out. It's 6.40. I've got Adrian in the tub. The other ones are being wild. But I'm going to like shred a piece of this and make it into a taco salad. We'll see how that tastes with all the taco fixings. Okay, so my chicken came out. I shredded up in here with lettuce, cheddar cheese, sour cream, tomatoes. Oh, I'm going to add some of the creamy... Sorry, my camera died. Yeah, I'm going to put on some creamy queso that I had on my um, burrito. Or my, yeah, my breakfast burrito thing. So lettuce, taco meat, which is just barbecue chicken, um, sour cream, cheese, tomatoes. And then we'll put, it's hard to squeeze, some queso on top. And there we have it. Hopefully it's good. I'm just starving. It's 7.01 now. These kids, <laughs> yeah, they ate at 5.40. And I'm just now getting mine an hour and 40 minutes later. Okay, so here's the pan. See, like all the sauce is in the pan. Like they just get coated in the sauce. So yeah, I just put away the leftover chicken. I'm cleaning up dinner messes real quick. It's almost snack time. 7.52, 8 o'clock is snack time and 8.30 is bedtime for them. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, it's 11.26. <laughs> oh my God. Allie got out of her bed like four different times. Um, anyway, I got her in her bed. I just checked on Adri. I want a little snack before bed. I want to be in midway before this tonight, but Allie ended up just laying beside me on the couch and falling asleep. So I'm gonna try one of these if I can get it open. Quest protein cookie, peanut butter chocolate chip. So one gram of sugar, five net carbs, 16 protein. So this will put me over my carbs, but that's okay. I've got a couple and it has been a day. So I'm going to have one of these and hopefully it's delicious.